All right guys, welcome to episode one of Chicago Training. Throughout this journey, I'm gonna show you guys kind of ins and outs leading up to the Chicago Marathon, which is 18 weeks out. Believe it or not, it's crazy that the time has finally arrived. It feels like I registered almost a year ago, but the time has finally arrived to start training. Uh, before this training block, I decided to take 10 days off completely just to let my body recover from my half training that I did prior and just kind of reset, refocus, uh, and get ready for this long training block that I'm about to take on. So today is nothing crazy. First day back, just gonna get in five miles, uh, just nice and easy, just to get the legs turned over a little bit and getting back into that groove of running. All right, day one, five easy miles. Let's get it. All right, guys, day one of running complete. Nice little five mile jog, about 7.30ish pace or so. Just kind of getting the legs turned over. I'm excited to be coming back. I kind of wanted to pick it up a little bit uh, towards the end, but I decided just to keep it easy today. But let's head back to the office. And today I'm gonna go over kind of my goals and hopes uh, for this training cycle. We're back in the office, got the whiteboard out. I'm gonna take you guys through the goal and the training plan, what I have planned for the next 18 weeks of running. It's a long training block, but I know it's gonna be here before I know it. So let's go over a few things. Uh, first, I wanna say this is, I consider it my first marathon because if you follow me for a while, my technically first marathon was the Disney marathon two years ago. Got heat exhaustion, pass out the finish line. It was brutal. Uh, the reason why I don't consider that my first marathon was because you know, I stopped at around mile 15 just because it was like 94 degrees. I did finish, but I told myself I shouldn't have finished just because I was messed up for three weeks on. Um, it was just very brutal for me to finish that race. Um, so I kind of consider this, this is my first marathon, even though it's not, but I'm gonna consider it my first. But where did I get this training plan? Well, I took stuff that I know as a runner, I've been running all my life, ran throughout high school and college. Uh, took a little bit of what my coaches taught me when I trained for my half marathon in college. And then I took some advice for some other marathon runners as well on YouTube. And I took mistakes that I made in my past training as well and incorporated it into this. So we'll start off with weeks one through four. Weeks one through four are base phase. Building that base as a runner um, every day for four weeks is five to six miles every day these aren't like go out and kill yourself run fast times or anything like that it's moderate to easy days um if i feel oh if i feel good on one day i'm gonna pick it up a little bit but i'm gonna make sure i don't try to kill myself as like a workout because i have to remind myself there's still 14 weeks of training left it's a, it's a long block and it's a tunnel vision block you know, I'm going all out on this training method. So five to six miles every day and then lifting two to three days a week. This is something I'm gonna hold myself very accountable even throughout this whole training block because I'm not gonna just start, stop lifting uh, in weeks one through four. Um, it might go down to maybe one, two days a week, but I'm gonna consistently work out all the way to the end. Um, I feel lifting plays a huge role in runners. No matter how much you do, you don't have to lift heavy but as long as you're doing something, it'll help you out tremendously. Then we move on over to here, week five through 16. Now this is obviously the bulk of the train and I kind of highlighted the big weeks for the big and important workouts. So, you know, as we start week five through seven, just increasing the mileage, doing some workouts, like some tempo runs, some fart leg runs, uh, some track workouts, things like that. Week eight, week eight is the first long run. Now. You will see four things here. Uh, in my last training, I only did three 20 mile runs and above. This time I'm doing four. I feel like I need that extra one um, to make it happen. So week eight, first long run. Uh, I'll actually be in Colorado. So I'll, I'll get some uh, altitude training up there. I'm meeting with some of my athletes and ambassadors. They're running a race there. 
So I'm gonna tag along and film some content for Runner's Empire and uh, I'm gonna get a 20 mile run in that day. Now this is a no workout, no speed, get 20 miles in, get it done. Um, and feel confident after getting it done. Like, oh, I, I can do this. I can do 20 miles, it's no big deal. Um, it's, it's a run where I'm not worried about pace, not worried about anything, just get it done. Weeks nine and 10, kind of the same thing as five, six, and seven. There'll be a couple tempo sessions thrown in there and some speed work and easy runs. And then on these days, I'm not slacking off on the long runs. Uh, that's one thing I learned from my past marathon uh, training was kind of slacked off in between the workout days. Didn't really get the long, long, long runs in consistently. So all these days will still be 12 to 16 mile runs um, in between these big workout days uh, on the weekends. And then week 11, first 20 mile workout. So this 20 mile workout will be a tempo kind of workout. Uh, playing with paces a little bit here and there, you know, two mile reps uh, fast, a mile easy, things like that. Now week 12, kind of a week off in between the workouts. Week 12 is a very, kind of a very important uh, week in the training, just because I have two long runs, long, long runs back to back. So week 12 is gonna be important that I don't do crazy speed work during that. Just get mileage in, easy runs. Week 13, 18 to 20 miles. This is an 18 to 20 mile moderate effort pace. Just feel really good about the run that you're doing. Um, you know, it's it's not like week eight, week 13 is, you know, feel confident uh, that you can hold a certain pace for 18, 20 miles. Week 14, kind of same thing, recover a little bit. Week 15, peak week in terms of mileage. Um, my peak mileage is gonna be 65 to 70. Some people may say that's low, some people may say that's high. Um, in my 10 plus years of running, 65 to 70 miles is right where I not push the red line, but almost to where I feel confident and comfortable. Like that's as much as my body can handle and absorb at a time in a week. Um, then week 16, the most important week of them all, the most important run of the whole training cycle. It will be a 20 to 22 mile run in Chicago. I'm actually gonna go to Chicago three weeks beforehand uh, to do this run three weeks before the race just get my mind ready for that. And then we got some plans for Runner's Empire we're gonna be doing there as well. This 20 to 22 mile run is a tempo paced run, uh, tempo workout, playing with different paces, like two miles on tempo effort, two miles off, one mile on, one mile off, we'll get there. Uh, it is a very, very tough workout. Um, if I can handle that workout, I can handle the marathon, no problem. All right, week 17 and 18 air taper weeks. Now, a lot of you are going to be saying, yo, I do three weeks of taper, why is there only two? So I learned this from one half marathon and my past marathon uh, when I did a long training block like this. Three weeks for me doesn't work. It feels too long, I feel too sluggish, I don't feel ready. Like, I'll never forget the feeling of the Disney marathon when I went to the line and I didn't feel fresh. That's the worst feeling you can have getting ready to run the most important race. And you've done all this training for it, all this preparation and you get to the line not feeling fresh. I feel like a lot had to do with that was the three weeks off. I feel like I got a little lazy during the three weeks taper. Now granted, you know, you put in all this work beforehand and it doesn't go away, but it definitely ruins the mindset. Um, it definitely hurts as well. So this is probably one of the most important aspects of the training cycle for me is to just really pay attention. Don't slack off during this. You still got to run um, a week 17, the week before I'll still be doing 10 miles uh, on long run day, but it, it'll be an easy 10 miles, but I still get the runs in. Um, obviously decrease mileage a ton from 65 to 70, but don't be running 20 miles a week uh, on these two weeks leading up to the marathon. So the goal is sub three hours, which is 650 per mile. A lot of you are probably scratching your heads right now if you know me and saying, that's kind of slow for your caliber, isn't it? So for Disney, I ran like four hours and 40 minutes. So I don't really have anything to 
go by and my half marathon PR is a 121 uh, 121.47 around there. So I just threw something on the board. Now, this is basically the, the last goal. <laughs> uh, this is like the bare minimum, gotta hit this goal. It might change as we go along and as I feel and how fast my runs are going because 650 per mile doesn't seem like that, that fast or that out of the realm for me at all. But this is like, if I were to hit just this time, I'd be super happy with it. But I think I can go a lot faster. I think I can maybe go to like, maybe like a 252, 253 around that area. But just throw that on the board for right now. That's the goal right now. And maybe after weeks 10, 11, after 11, especially that 20 mile workout, I'll see where I'm at. Super excited for you guys to join me on this. A lot of content gonna be coming regarding this process of marathon training. And this is a team aspect for you and me. I want your inputs, all you marathon runners. What's great piece of advice you can give me since I'm brand new to the marathon. Um, anything, I want this to be a big team effort. Like we're gonna accomplish this together. And if you're running the Chicago Marathon, let me know. We have some big plans with Runners Empire getting really involved with the community. So, and this is just the beginning of it. We have, I got so much playing. It's, it's crazy, so much playing. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button if you wanna follow the journey and be a part of it. Comment down below, give me some give me some marathon advice. What can you give me? Anything. I'll take anything. Anyway guys, I will see you on the next installment of Marathon Prep.